Today we are going to make a pineapple slushy milkshake, pina colada drink, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it, it's delicious. So what we need to do first is we need to cut our pineapple and we need to freeze chunks of it. So there's a few things I wanna teach you first. This is a pineapple. And how we tell if it's ready is we pick off a stem. Do you wanna pick one off? And if it comes off pretty easy, then we know that it's ready. Another way to check is I look at the bottom and I like to see if it's starting to grow some mold. I know that sounds gross, but look how these are kind of drying up. It's kind of getting yellow. And then I like to smell it. Can you smell the pineapple? So at the store, they didn't have ones that were really yellow. This was the most yellow and the most ripe I could find, but it will be okay. And this is how I cut it. I like to have a bag so I can just put all the garbage in. Because if we put it all in the garbage can, then it weighs the garbage and it makes it really heavy. And if you don't take the garbage out daily, it makes it sink a little bit. So how I do it is I like to make a flat surface. So I cut off the top like this. And I cut off the bottom like this. And I have a flat surface now, so it's easy to cut. Now I am using a really long serrated knife. This is a bread knife, but it's one that I love to cut fruit with. Then we just get the sides and I kind of curve it around according to the shape of the pineapple and I cut off the rind. And I put all of these in the bag. Remember when we're cutting, we hold our knife like this. We use this motion and we curl our fingers in. And what do we do with that side, Lib? We skip it up so the things don't get. So the pineapple, the outside of it has some dirt or some, you know, it just flakes off and it gets all black and stuff. I just use the end and, and I just scrape it up. Look, if I go with the grain, it, it scrapes off the dirt so that when I'm cutting, it doesn't get that dirt inside on, or on top of the pineapple. Then you can see the core. Now that part is really hard and chewy and fibrous. We don't usually eat that part. You can, it's really good for you, but it's kind of hard to eat. So I just cut to the side of it. Now you can go in a circle or you can go to the other side. I just go in a circle and I cut around it. And look at that, they just lie down. Now here's the fun part is you can get these angles right here and I just eat these. You wanna eat it? So I just lay these down, I cut it. Cut little slices, and then I cut it. Now Libby's gonna do the rest. I'm gonna put these chunks in a sheet pan with the Silly Pad. I really like to use the Silly Pad because it's easy to take the frozen chunks off of the Silly Pad after they're frozen. Now, there's our garbage and we take it right outside to the garbage. Now these do take overnight or a couple of hours to freeze. So I have these lids that I really love that go right on top of our sheet pan. And we're gonna stick these in the freezer overnight. I know, kind of a bummer. So just plan ahead. But we did, we planned ahead and we have some already frozen. So we're gonna switch these out and we get to make more tomorrow. Woohoo! Next, we have a really powerful blender. I have the Vitamix and I really like the Vitamix because I like this stirring wand that you can stick in there. It goes in and you can mix things around and it doesn't touch the bottom and shred it to pieces and break. Okay, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add one and a half cups of coconut milk. You might need a little bit more. Now this isn't the coconut milk that you buy in a can. So this is um, the original, so it's a little bit sweetened, but it's not super sweet like the vanilla one. Open it. You can use regular milk if you want. This just adds a tiny hint of coconut to it. You can barely taste it though because the pineapple is so strong. So we're gonna dump that in. Then we're gonna add our frozen pineapple. Now with the Vitamix, you wanna start out slow. So we turn it on. We're gonna add another half cup of coconut milk because it's a little too thick. But every pineapple is a different size and so I like to start off with a little bit less because you can always add more. Okay. But it's harder to take away. It's harder to take away, that's right. 
Now this is really good if you add half of a banana to it too. It just adds a little more of a tropical flavor. Two spoons. Two spoons coming right up. Look how thick that is. Yum, I love this blender because it just makes, look how smooth it is too. If you go backwards, it's just smooth. Okay. I feel no. You feel a pineapple? Maybe, oh yeah. That was do we need to mix it around a little more? Mm. Um, That's good. What do you think? I think it's good, it tastes so creamy. Kind of like an ice cream. It's a perfect, healthy summer treat. We love to eat popsicles at our house. You can put it in a cup, you can eat it like this, or you can stick it in a bowl or a container and freeze it. And then you can scoop it out later. And it's kind of more like an ice cream and it'll stay in its shape. You do need to eat it fast because it will melt fast. But what do you think? Good. High five. Woohoo! Thanks for watching another episode of Half Pint Cooking. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Tell us what you want us to make next. Share your pictures with us. Like us on Facebook and Instagram and share it with your friends. Bye. What is this? A pineapple milkshake? I have mad knife skills. I'm out of breath today. Whoa. What'd you do? Touch the blade and burn you. Not burn you.